What's up guys, it's your boys Awoke back out with another scary paranormal ghost creepy video for us to watch and enjoy and react to on Scare with Awoke. And we haven't done any Sir Spooks in a while. I'm definitely going to be excited about this one because this is the top, instead of top 5, it's the top 10, why did I have a hard time saying that? Top 10 scary videos that will scare your pants off. My pants are on. So they're not going nowhere, but we're going to be watching this and reacting to it right now with you and I on Scare with Wokey. So grab a chair, grab some popcorn as we get scared, but not our pants to come off. Take a look. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe down below by hitting the red bar icon down at the bottom right. Turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon next to it. So I do post videos like this one. You'll get that little ring notification that so we'll keep myself has posted that video. And you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you very much for everybody that's supporting me on my endeavors for the YouTube channel. And you guys that are subscribing, commenting, liking, and sharing galore. I can't thank you guys enough. Let's keep it going. Tell your friends and tell your family. And with that being said, let's get in the video and why we're here to get scared with the top 10 scary videos that will scare your pants off on Sir Spooks. Make sure you guys go over to Sir Spooks' channel and subscribe. Link in it will be down in the description. Make sure you guys show your support over there as well. And with that further ado, let's get in the video and get scared. Oh! Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at the top 10 like scary videos before. that will scare your pants off. Yes, your pants will actually fall off somehow. Will they really sp so, Sir Spooks? So, let's begin. Okay. I'm sitting down, so I don't think they're gonna fall off. Ah! The Grain Fort tunnels are a mysterious series of tunnels located in Grain Kent, and were initially constructed all the way back in 1868 to defend the confluence of the rivers Medway and the Thames during a period of tension with France. However, the tunnels were eventually decommissioned by the United Kingdom in 1956, mm. and shortly thereafter they really? were demolished. However, still Why? to this day, you can visit the Grain Fort tunnels although they are strewn with rubble and they are not the same as they were a hundred years ago. Nevertheless, they are still a location of interest for many, including YouTuber Steve Ballard, who decided to document his findings in a video he published online in April of 2020. Last year. In the video, Steve is reviewing the footage that was filmed first person while in the tunnels, and he tells us that something creepy was filmed down there. Oh boy. After a few short seconds, you'll see exactly what it is. Okay. Take a look. Shadow figure at a grain fault. Show itself just there. What the hell? This is being played about half speed. Yeah. Now watch. So. Oh. Ah! See? It? There is undoubtedly something there, but the question is, what exactly is this the figure? Hell? Of course, many believe this to be a shadow figure, which makes plenty of sense. Oh, look at the white outline thing, not that. Or could it somehow be someone else's shadow? <sighs> it could also be a ghost, and of course, there's the possibility this was a setup. But what do you I think? I don't know, that's was pretty... there really a shadow figure lurking through the green four tunnels? Pants are Let still me on. Know what you think Spooks. in the comments. Yes, please comment down below, but my pants are still on. Ha ah. I'd like to thank Chilling App for sponsoring today's video. Sorry for the sponsorship. Hopefully I'll get one someday. Kevin Summer uploaded video to his YouTube channel in December of 2018 and provided context, stating that his friend's brother was home alone vacuuming the house, which is allegedly 100 years old. He says that every time he would come back into the room after leaving it, the closet door would miraculously be open. After a while, it seriously freaked the man out, which is quite understandable, so he decided to set up a video camera in the room to try to capture it live on camera, 
just so we can get some peace and understanding. What happened on the footage scared the man so much that he ended up fleeing the house immediately. So what could he have possibly captured on camera that scared him so much? Well, let's have a look. Let's do it. Nothing there, bro. Okay. At first, everything seems to be going quite well. The closet door remains closed for a long while, but eventually it opens all by itself, and we can see clear stain that nobody opened it. The closet is how completely is it, empty. Though? So how is this even possible? It seems like the uploader himself has no idea, but it certainly is a mystery that will leave you scratching your head looking for answers. Let's just hope that wherever this man is living now, his closets remain closed yes. as they should be. I don't know, you guys tell me what you guys think about that. In this security camera video recorded at an undisclosed warehouse, the clip shows a metal gate that is seemingly locked up by a padlock. The okay. uploader provides some context by stating that before the video clip started filming, a person was at the gates and noticed the padlock was firmly locked, causing them to go back oh. and get the keys to unlock it. Five minutes go by, and then this happens. Oh boy. It just broke open. This is definitely a very bizarre see video. It. Stop. As you can see, the padlock actually seems to twist and unlock itself Phew. before the gates finally open all by themselves. Unfortunately, we never see the employee come back to find that the gates are now open. But I can only guess just how weirded out they were when they made the discovery. This video has an indescribable sense of reality to it that doesn't look faked or altered in any way. But maybe that's just me. What do you think? It doesn't look altered. Did this gate really open all by itself? If so, how? Yeah. Or do you think that this whole thing was a fake? Be sure to let me know your opinion below. Yes, please do. On mine and his. I want to know. Because gates just don't open like that. <laughs> <laughs> A woman on YouTube yeah, no. named Annie Bennett says that ever since she moved into her new house, she has been witnessing some seriously scary and mysterious things in the dining room, always happening during the night, particularly 2.15 to 2.30 in the morning. Eleven years ago. She says that it happened so much that she has surprisingly learned to simply live with it. But even though she is used to these events transpiring on a nightly basis, she decided to set up a video camera to see if she could show her YouTube subscribers exactly what she has to put up with while in the comfort of her own home. Take a look and see what Annie experiences at night. The clock face just opens? Oh! I'm not seeing any keys move. Oh. Oh. What was that? Oh. Yeah, it doesn't like this area. I know there's ways of doing the piano thing. Snuggies! Uh, Mother Pearl! That was not very nice. What is that? What is that white thing? Oh. 
My heart's pounding just a little bit. What the? What is that white thing? Oh. I can't imagine how terrifying it must have been to hear this for the first time. Yeah. Sleeping in your bed, trying to get some rest, when all of a sudden, your piano begins to play itself. And shut itself. In the description of the upload, Annie says that she was told that there was a lady that used to live in this house before her, but she ended up passing away just one year before she moved in. Hmm. So could this be the ghost of the previous homeowner? It is entirely possible. After all, it would certainly explain how the piano is playing itself, as well as all the other strange activities. Perhaps this is just a friendly ghost wanting to get some piano practice. Or Either dungeon. that, or it's all a carefully planned hoax. Let me know what you guys think. Yes, please do guys, I need to know. It's like the piano could be done because they've made things that make a piano do that. The YouTube channel 4man04 has been on the platform as early as October of 2007, and wow. ever since their inception, the group has frequently been uploading videos relating to paranormal investigations, haunted house explorations, and plenty more. In one video uploaded to their channel on February 28, 2009, the crew is investigating an old building located somewhere in Ohio. It doesn't take long at all before the group starts to suspect that perhaps they are not as alone as they think they are. And in a few short moments, you'll see that they definitely aren't. Oh boy. Take a look at the terrifying things they encounter. Anybody down here? Jesus Christ. Did you see that? Yeah. I think I did. I keep hearing, I keep hearing a faint voice. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if. There's be a lady crouched on the couch. How do you, what? Ah, I didn't see that. Is this the spirit of Mary Lou hiding from me? We mean you no harm. It's truly fascinating but also terrifying just how many strange and mysterious things happen to the group in such a short amount of time during the investigation. From freaky faces appearing in shadows and old ladies seemingly hiding in the building, this investigation is one of the freakiest finds from the early days of YouTube. It is worth noting that the 4man04 group is still active to this day, uh. continuing to make paranormal investigation videos. So I definitely recommend that you check them out. I'll have to. I feel like if your mind thinks that something is there, your mind is gonna think that there's something there. Does the name Waverly Hill Sanatorium ring a bell? Yes, it you? does. I wanna well, go. Well, if not, it's one of the most haunted sanatoriums in the entire world, and has been featured on this channel numerous times in yes. the past, and for good reason. You'll be hard pressed to find a YouTube video about the place that's not creepy. Yes. It seems like nothing good ever happens in there. And this video by the YouTube channel Live Sci-Fi further proves that sentiment. In the clip, a group of individuals can be seen and heard talking amongst each other, while hesitantly looking down a dark and eerie uh. corridor while inside the asylum. For a long while, it seems as though perhaps nothing scary will happen to the crew. But of course, that is not entirely true. All of a sudden, they are taken by surprise when this happens out of the blue. Oh gosh. Well, this is definitely going to go down on books. It's one of the weirdest moments of my life. Sorry, that was a guess. I thought it was a wall and I put my hand up against it and the damn door opened and I felt, fell in. <laughs> That's one of the weirdest moments in your life. <laughs> you loaded me and now I loaded my. Oh lord. What? Excuse me? Something that is passing by. That there's like a window or something. I don't know. What was that above him? Is this equipment or something? Then? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Bullshit. We weren't even near it. Bullshit. Bullshit. 
We weren't even near it. Where'd that come from? Uh, the... Holy... Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw something behind injured. him. A boy was once inside the sanatorium who died while inside but love to play ball with people. Yes, I've heard that. And in this video, a ball can be seen rolling toward the camera crew. So is this the ghost of Timmy trying to play ball but wasn't one there last a time. figure behind it them when he, she seems panned like it it. to the left? I swear it was like some guy that was doing this. I don't know. I'm not going back, but... Over on TikTok, a user named WV Paranormal shared a video to their account, which follows a woman who is outside camping somewhere when she suddenly spots something not too Somewhere? far in the distance that shakes her to the core. She is so freaked out by it that she attempts to capture the incident on camera, stating, nobody's ever gonna mm. believe this. It may take a moment for you to see it, but look right beside the tent and you will see something genuinely terrifying. Uh oh. Oh my God, nobody is gonna ever believe this. All right, we're going, we're going back inside. Did you see it? Yes. A tall figure with a completely white head Slenderman. seems to be peeking at the woman filming before the video ultimately shuts off without warning. Alien? The woman says that she's going to go back inside for safety and we can only hope that she was safe after she stopped recording. By its tall appearance in dark clothing and its white face, it almost Ugh. looks like the Slenderman or some other strange shadow figure. Or what do you think this mysterious creature. stranger is? And maybe even better, what do you think their intentions were? Yes. For now, it remains a mystery, but we can only hope that we and the woman in the video get answers someday. Tell me down below. Time to be like, babe, get the shotgun! We're going hunting for Slenderman, he's outside by the tent! The cursed video <laughs> subreddit is exactly how it sounds. It's full of videos that are allegedly cursed, and even if they aren't, they're still incredibly chilling and are sure to keep you awake at night. This particular video was posted to the subreddit six months ago and not. shows a hidden door with graffiti on it, do reading, open. do not open. And yet they go in. Of course, this is pretty ominous, but somehow, this particular person was not afraid and decided he would open it anyway, Way to go. just to see what exactly was inside his curiosity getting the better of him. For a couple of seconds, it seems as though this hidden room actually has nothing to hide. But that doesn't stop the Reddit user from looking around. Okay. But in just a few seconds, he will find out the hard way that he is absolutely not welcome there. Do not open. Don't open it. Let's open it. Gotta be like his buddy. I feel like this is staged. A mysterious figure dressed in all black spots the uploader and then proceeds to make loud and angry groaning sounds before charging at the man, causing him to exit the room immediately and slam the door shut. The door is only- It doesn't take him too long to realize that he may be in serious danger, which is when he proceeds to run away from the area at once. This video definitely does make you wonder though, it does. what exactly is inside this area that the man dressed in black wants to hide from the general public, and also, where exactly is this room? What country is it in? Yes. Is it all just one big hoax? I think it, it is. It doesn't seem as though we will get any answers anytime soon, but for now we can all discuss this video and get creeped out by it. It was a little creepy, but I think they hoaxed it. It's pretty much what I think they did. Oh. It's no secret that the Conjuring series of films are some of the most terrifying mainstream good, good horror movies, movies of the them. past decade. With three main entries in the franchise being released now, I haven't seen the, the series one yet. has gone to various different locations, 
but easily the most chilling has to be the house from the first movie. Yes. The real Conjuring house is located in Harrisville on Rhode Island Someday I wanna and go was there. recently purchased by new owners. Take a look at these videos that were filmed inside the Conjuring house by the new owners to get a good taste as to how creepy this place actually is. I just watched Sam and Kobe on YouTube go there. It's actually really good. Dark sh shadow. Oh boy. What makes you want to purchase this? Uh, I mean, it is haunted, yes, but it's still creepy. They're just sitting there and it's moving. Oh, uh, does she see it? Yep, she sees it now. Whoa! Oh, I thought it moved a lot farther. Same book again. What's the book? Last night at 12.59. It's not 333. <laughs> As you can see, books getting thrown to the ground all by themselves, and shadow figures seemingly looming through hallways, are just a few of the chilling things that have uh. occurred in this extremely frightening place recently. And they purchased it. This seems to further prove that the events of which The Conjuring was based on may be actually were true. But I'll leave it up for you guys to decide on whether these videos show real paranormal activity yes, I do or something so. else entirely. The Conjuring is definitely haunted. I've seen many YouTube channels, and they find this stuff all the time. The Norwood Hotel, located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, is your typical hotel that you would spend a couple of nights at and not think twice about the place. You go to bed, wake up and leave the next morning, breakfast. like any other hotel. <laughs> but if you plan to visit the place yourself, do not visit room 313. It is said to be very haunted and Why? full of unusual activity. And this video published by the paranormal investigation channel Paranormies showcases oh, I love exactly Paranormies. that. In the upload, the group decides to venture inside room 313 just to see for themselves exactly how haunted and infested with spirits it really is. I think I saw this one, I can't remember. Is it even haunted? Well, it sure seems to be. For a long while, nothing exactly creepy happens, although the ambience inside the room yes. is certainly unsettling. However, at the 23 minute mark, the Paranormies get their first sign that maybe they shouldn't be there. Okay. Yeah, that stick figure thing. Can we give it some light here? They do, some, they do stuff with the doll. He goes by the mirror. He's not in the mirror. Definitely really interesting. Mm -hmm. In the shower. What is this Hello? Thing? Is this where you've been hiding? Did they die in the shower? That is really creepy. Yeah, just I'm looking the behind there. It's there's nothing there. There's nothing there. That's just like the it's like sitting in the corner of the tub. And then a couple of minutes later, the crew proceeds to set up motion balls on one of the beds while one These of the men, Jordan, toys. asks the potential spirit in the room if it can touch one of the motion balls to let him know that they're in the room. Sure enough, this happens shortly after. Oh, this is just dead. Oh! oh whoa. Whoa. And it's Thank just you. one. I didn't... Scare? Scare. I did not expect that. <clears throat> No man, because that guy hasn't even touched the REM pod yet. Oh my god, I just saw a shadow behind you. Really? No way. Yeah, look. Yeah, look. I saw it by the bathroom over there. It wasn't my shadow? Nope. Here's his casting over there. To yeah, the it's camera. casting right there. So far, everything that has happened has been strictly paranormal in nature, which makes a lot of sense. But what happens after the motion ball incident is truly baffling. Watch what happens here when Jordan gets up and proceeds to walk yes, by the mirror on the wall. Yes, this is very interesting. What is that noise? 
You can hear it still? It's like a tapping. Watch, Watch the mirror. So he's not there. Heavy. Although we didn't initially notice it at the time, at some point when Jordan walks by the mirror, he does not have a reflection, which is quite eerie. Yes, very much. Something that's a lot harder to explain is something you probably missed, just like I almost missed during editing. And that's when Jordan walked into the bathroom for the second time. He didn't have a reflection in the mirror. Um, and I don't understand cameras very well, so I don't understand if this is a FPS issue with the camera during that moment. No, because watch um, him. Low light sensitivity. Now I don't it know shows. how it all works, so I don't know. But if that's not the case, then I came up with a theory, and I'll share that. The ghost was in the way. Jordan wasn't being picked up by the SLS camera throughout the night, and it wouldn't focus on his face specifically a lot throughout the night. And we kind of were talking about the possibility that there was something latching onto him or, you know, just lingering around him that night. That's what I think. And I think it's possible that when Jordan passed by the mirror the second time, that something was either standing in front of the mirror That's blocking his thought. reflection, or it was something walking with Jordan to the bathroom. That's what either I way, it's really unsettling, and it's probably one of the best pieces of footage that I think we've ever caught. Later on, while the crew members sleep in the beds to get some rest during the early hours of the night, their REM pod and K2 devices proceed to give them an unexpected wake-up call. And also, it seems as though something strange happens with Jordan as well. Take a look. Oh, I remember this! Ha! Ah, you can see I'm moving! I forgot about this! Oh, it's moving into his bed. It's in the bed with him! It just lay down. I forgot about this. Oh, you can see it is a figure. Does he see Shortly it? Shortly thereafter, the crew decided to call it a day, which was probably the wise decision, because it certainly seemed as though room 313 was as haunted as they believed it was. The paranormies are well known for conducting various paranormal investigations around the world, but hopefully they're wise enough not to check back into room 313 at the Norwood Hotel. And that was 10 scary videos that will scare your pants off. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. Yes, please do. My name is Sir Spooks, and I'll see you all in the next video. So like Sir Spooks said, we um, I still got my pants. Pants are still on me. So I didn't scare the pants off, but I definitely had a few scares, including the last one. Love Paranormies. I've watched their channel. You guys need to go to every single channel that's on here. Make sure you guys go over, show your love, watch the videos. Definitely a lot of good content or creator or content creators and paranormal investigators. Definitely loved every single one of them. I don't know about this one with the whole Slenderman thing. Slenderman is technically not real, but there is mythical auras, as you will, as they call them or whatever have you, that they still think that the spirit of, of um, Slenderman is around. But I don't, I, you guys comment down below what you guys think about Slenderman and and all these paranormal videos that we just witnessed right now. I want to know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like the video if you guys enjoyed the reaction. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So keep it real. Keep it safe. And as always, keep nerding on. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.